Welcome back. I am Dr. Ruckus, bringing you a new deck every single day. And today we are playing Rakdos Aggro with a twist. We're focusing on one of the cards that didn't receive a lot of love from Alchemy, and that is Sap Vitality. Did extremely well today, winning 70% of games across about 45 minutes of gameplay, which is very solid. So let's talk about the deck. All right, Sap Vitality is a two-mana instant. Deal three damage to target creature or a planeswalker. Choose a creature card in your hand. It perpetually gets plus three, plus oh. So the downside is it can't hit some of the four toughness targets like Righteous Valkyrie, Old Growth Troll, and Townraiser Tyrant, which is kind of the four toughness baddies of the format. But you can kill most things, and the upside of perpetually giving one of your creatures plus three, plus O oh, uh, is a pretty big swing in tempo if you are the aggressor. That's a lot of damage to tack onto a card. And I think some of the best cards you can tack that onto is what I built the deck around, and those are First Strikers, uh, Evasive Threats, and Recursive Creatures. So first strikers, we have Rahilda, Cemetery Gatekeeper, and Florian. If you, if turn two, you go Sap Vitality and uh, pump up your Florian, and turn three, you go Florian, that's a 6-3 first striker. That is a menace to deal with in combat. You have to chump block that for the rest of the game. There's basically, you have to kill it with removal or chump block. There's basically no way to get around that. Same with Rahilda, especially if you if you get it to flip to double striking and it's a 5-2 double striker, that is a beast to deal with in combat. So that that's one of the big buffs you can hit with Sap Vitality on your first strikers. The other one is with Evasive Threats. If you put it on Town Raiser Tyrant, it comes in as a 4-mana 7-4 Flyer that deals 2 damage to your opponent each turn off their lands. That's massive. And if you can throw a Reckless Stormseeker in there too and give it haste, just a huge amount of damage you can pump out quickly. And then lastly, my all-time favorite, because it does say perpetually, you can put it on Skyclave Shade. If you do that, then you get a 6-1, and every time they kill it, if you play a land, you can replay it, and it's still a 6-1. So you can just beat your, your opponent over the head relentlessly with a 6-1 Skyclave Shade, which I think is just the best thing possible. So that's mostly the deck. Um, just to fill it out, we've got Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter as a 1-mana 2-1 in the early aggressive slot. Four copies of Play With Fire, mostly to fill out the curve. Also plays well with Florian. Uh, four copies of Bloodthirsty Adversary, just a 2-mana 2-2 two -two Haste that you can play later. Maybe get back a Play With Fire or a Sap Vitality. And, of course, Reckless Stormseeker, which is amazing. And two copies of Torolf, just because I didn't want to play four copies of the Legendary Florian. That's the deck. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. It's okay, I guess. Archmage Baner. All right. A lot of pit fighting happening today. No stick. Wars of what is the question? Clerics, control. It is clerics. All right, well, we have an immediate answer there. Can't be too upset about that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take you out now. We have the chance. Voice goes down. Get in there for two. Feels good. Tap land. That's good for us, too. Angel of Unity. Well... Get in there with Reckless Stormseeker, I think. Okay. No blocks. Pun it down to 15. Next turn, maybe Florian plus Play with Fire. See what they have. Another voice. Okay. It's only a 2-2, two -two, though, and now it's a 3-3. Three -three. Alright. How to play it. We can go Haste on Florian. That's pretty annoying. I think we go haste on Florian, attack all, try to trade something for the voice. Let's see if they take the bait or not. Oh, they're thinking about it. They do. Okay. Sure. First strike here. Yep. We're trading two resources away, but it may be worth it. Uh, we've already played land this turn. Let's see. Uh, just this turn, yeah. Whoops. Probably should have played land later then. Doesn't really matter what we pick here. Alright. Let's get this guy dead. Putting down to 10. We're kind of out of gas. They scoop off of that. Nice. Uh, sweet. A win in the books. Alright, that's a decent curve. Uh, 
Probably get Rahilda down first. Depends what they play. Oh, hello. Hi. Interesting. Snow covered black mana. Yeah, I think first strike should be okay against whatever they're doing. Let's play Rahilda. The Garrick. The Garak. Acquisitions expert. Interesting. Happy to discard one of these Skyclaves. Down she goes. Go land Toralf here. Do we think the block? I think we're going to attack. I think we're going to play Toralf anyway. Not sure if they're blocking or not, but this is a good chunk of damage coming in right now. All right. They gave us a Rahilda trigger. Concealing curtains for one. So they are a uh, mono black discard. That's what we're learning now. Skyclave Shade is going to be good against that. A nice recursive threat. This coming turn, maybe Bloodthirsty Adversary and Skyclave. I'm thinking hard there. We can also play their um, Demogorgon. All right, so you can definitely go. Probably drop this land as well. Yeah, that's fine by me. All right, no land here, but we might hit it off of Florian. So we'll play you now. Get in there. See if we can hit land. Could go land concealing curtains, potentially. Block there. Take three. Pony down to 12. Yeah, we'll take the land, I think. And, uh, yeah, we trigger you, but we can't play you this turn. Got the concealing curtains down. Free value acquired. Um, I guess we'll lose Toralf here. Happy to keep our draw engine around. All right, they're in big trouble right now. Twitchy. Okay. Do you have Menace? Um, let's see. Do we want to level up Curtain? I guess it's worth more damage than, um, playing you. So, sure. Let's try it. Soul Shatter. I guess Terrigrid's actually too hard for us to deal with. All right, let's get in there. Chump there, take five. Exile something random here. Probably just take more land, could get a Skyclave down. They kind of need a sweeper, they need to go I need that to be a land and draw Meat Hook Massacre to get out of this right now. Um, Lightning Bolt's also quite good, though. What do we think? Lightning Bolt? I think we'll just keep taking land. Yeah, that's fine. we get one of these Skyclaves out. Seems good. All right, land Meat Hook Massacre. That's what they need right now. I don't think they have it. Good game. Okay, good game. Nice. Going well so far. All right, decent curve here. Is that all you got? Ooh, green. Sap Vitality. I mean, we could set it up for turn two with the Shade. Or our first striker. I kind of want to try it. All right, let's set up turn two Sap Vitality. I really want to see it in action. No two drop, though. We do not get what we want. I think I really want it on the Skyclave Shade. I mean, First Striker is decent, but the Skyclave Shade, I think, was going to be better. So, let's go like this. Yeah, let's just get the First Striker down. I really want to try to Sap Vitality on the Skyclave Shade and just have it pummel them all game. That's my goal. Third green. Troll. Settle the wilds. Oh my god. Alright. We have clearly miscalculated what's going on here. 
Go land Stormseeker, probably. All right. Hit him for five. Then they got a four drop to hand. Is it Ren and seven? Pack Piper. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we're comboing off anyway. Because gosh darn it, if I can't combo off you. Kill you off. Skyclave Shade. All right. Permanently a 6 1. <laughs> uh, whoa. What? Okay. That was janky. Did you guys see that? <laughs> okay. Opponent down to four. And every time we play Skyclave Shade, it is a 6 1 now. I like that. I like that a lot. Is that all you got? Man, I got a whole lot. Cemetery Prowler. I'm not sure that's enough. Okay. That's a card. Hmm. How do we want to play this? We can actually play Rahilda Attack and then uh, play with Fire either of these. So let's start there. Or Strike. Okay. Oh, we had lethal anyway. Sorry. <laughs> I was just too excited about what was going on to notice, but we obviously had lethal there as well. <laughs> All right. That was kind of sweet. I wanted to see the Skyclave Shade a little more in action, like every turn have them sack something to it and chump block and never be able to survive, but we'll try again later. Okay. Sure. Decent curve. Could set Vitality on either of our first strikers at some point. Blue. Oh, we're starting on red here. Get that one drop down. Turn two, I guess it's Rahilda. Let's see what kind of control we're up against. A little is it control action? Okay. Foretell. What do they foretell in this deck? I guess this is Rahilda's turn. We stick there? I think the game's been a little slow today. Not sure what's going on there. Put it down to 18. So what would this be? Demon Bolt, saw it coming. Scoop, okay. I guess they got stuck on land, whatever. A win's a win, baby. Rank it up. Okay, good curve. Don't need double legendary Rahilda, but we'll work around it. One drop acquired. Herman Soros. Suarez? Herman Suarez is what I'm feeling. Blue. Crab. Mill it is. see if we can uh, cheese them to not block. Got that old full control on. Alright. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but we're going to try. Man, this game's really being laggy, laggy today. Alright, that was partially my fault because of um, holding priority, but still, uh, this game's definitely being laggy today. Not sure what's going on. Mill away. We would love to hit a Sap Vitality now. That'd be a huge draw. Pick off this dang crab. Okay. Fading hope. Sure. It's fine by me. We can't play duplicates anyway. Alright. Let's repeat that trick. Hold stick a little bit. Ooh. Maybe we have something. We're trying to trick them. Okay. End of combat. Uh, Yeah. That's fine. Hilda resumes the fray. Get our double red next turn. Drop the town razor tyrant. More mail. There goes our play with fires. It actually could have been useful with uh, taking down the crab with one of these attackers. Put it down to 16. One fading hope so far. Magna Cacophony. Alright, they go for that already. 37 cards remaining. We gotta start closing out this game soon. And another fading hope. Okay. Well, that means, you know, they're not they're not comboing off right now. And they're going down a card every time they do this. And they go down a card every time they play Madden Cacophony. So we absolutely have a shot here. Decent draw there. I think we'll still play um, the Tyrant. 
Continue with our same trick. Try to cheese damage every turn. Okay. Oh, we got a Skyclave Shade back. That's funny. So we want to play that out now. Given that their removal is... I think I think this Tyrant's going to do a number on them. Let's stress out their mana base. That is funny. They milled the Skyclave Shade. Not bad against mill. Iteration. Okay, they take a turn off here. That's big. We could potentially go land Stormseeker, which could be nice. XLA non land card is probably almost irrelevant. Um, if we hit a removal spell to get rid of the crab, that's probably the only thing we would want off of Rahilda if we do get the chance to attack with it. They definitely have a slow game, though. Like, uh, I'm honestly not that afraid right now, but we'll see. They're getting close to a combo, right? They could, I guess, technically win next turn. If they go copy Tasha's this coming turn, then they will win. Geist Channeler. Okay. Playing my version, potentially. We hit the next land, which is nice. I think we got the Stormseeker down. We go to combat now. We could also get the Bloodthirsty Adversary down. I guess we just try to put as much pressure as we can. If they're going to win, then they're going to win this coming turn. So That was a mistake. Should have put it on the Pit Fighter. Definite mistake there. See if it comes to cost us. Because us. now we can't attack with the Pit Fighter, which was dumb. We could have traded with the Geist Channeler otherwise. Down to 8. Yeah, we missed two damage there. Opponent could be down to six right now, I think. They sack it. That's huge. That means they don't have enough mana to combo off this turn. All right, so we basically got him here then. Yeah, big mistake last turn. Should have pumped the Falcon Wrath up to a 3-1. Then they could have traded the Geist Channeler there. Uh, chump locked here and then taken six. But this should basically be a game because we can give whatever our next card is haste. And we even have Den of the Bugbear. Millis down to 29. Again, they could still win next turn if they go copy um, Tasha Sedia's Laughter. Okay, that's not really doing it. I think we have Lethal this turn then, right? Yeah, we have Lethal. That's game. And they scoot. All right, despite a misplay there, managed to get through. That was really slow. Yeah, they, they didn't really do a whole lot that game. I don't know if they drew poorly or not, but in my version, I have a ton of ramp and card filtering, which which makes that deck go nuts. Not bad at all. Probably Rahilda on two. Okay, opponent mulling down to six. I'll take it. Nice. Ooh, they mull down to five. Is that what just happened? All right, mull to five. Time to prey on the weak. Rakdos's favorite strategy. No mercy. Huh, okay. Probably go over Hilda here. What do we think this is? Angels? Sky Cave Shades maybe a little better. Let's get Rahilda down. If they drop a 2 2 Angel, we can at least bar with it immediately. Green. Okay. I guess we're going to want double red sooner. I kind of just want to hit him for a ton of damage right now. I mean, coming on the night side, that's just so big. Yep, take a crap ton. Stencia Uprising. Okay, so it is three color control jank Stencia Uprising. Two spells to flip at this point. That's one spell. Stay on nighttime. Oh, man. This is just brutal. What a great draw by us. If I were the opponent, I would definitely scoop. Uh, what do we care most about? Yeah, they just scoop there. <laughs> All right. That was brutal. I will take it. Nothing like praying on the weak to get, get, get your blood flowing. A little tight on land, but otherwise decent. Probably start with a Bloodthirsty Adversary. Unless we get something in the graveyard to exile. 
All right, start here. Green. Pup. That is a little tough. Okay. First striker can at least get through that. Next turn could go Sap Vitality on the Town Raiser Tyrant. But they're probably going to play a 4-4 here. We'll see. They don't have to. They could play something that ends up being a 3-3. If it's Rahilda, that's going to be great. It is Rahilda. And we can actually kill that with Sap Vitality. The question is, what do we put it on? Our Dragon or our First Striker? That's going to depend on if we draw land here or not. If we do draw land, we might just put it straight on the Town Razor and uh, become the beatdown. A lot of hesitation here by the opponent. Not sure why. We don't draw land. Okay, who does it go on? This is the critical question. A How good is a... A 5-1 first striker against Gruul. They can just pick it off with play with fire. I think we put it on the Tyrant. I don't think they can deal with the Tyrant, really. I know we're stuck on land, but I think this is the better play. I don't want it to pick it off so easily. So here it goes. 7-4 flyer acquired. We just got to hit land. We got to hit red lands. I still think that was the right decision, but it is tough to see. Put it down to 19. Oh, it's Naya Wolves. Okay, so Captain coming next turn. If we can hit a red land and get the Tyrant down, they're going to be in huge trouble. They might play Brutal Cathar, though. I mean, they almost certainly do, actually. So even that is not a given immediate win. Another Pup. Now what? Another Rahilda? Ranger class. Okay. Comes in as a 2-2. Wow, we do it. Holy crap. Do we attack with a Gatekeeper? I think so. I don't see a huge reason not to. We might bluff them out of some damage, too. They take it all. That's good for us. We are the aggressor here. All right. Target their White Source. That's the only thing that can kill the Town Raiser Tyrant, basically, if they draw into Brutal Cathar. They should take two here. 7-4 Dragon is nothing to mess with. They take it down to 16. They need a Brutal Cathar here. Even then, we have seven more removal spells on the deck that can nab the Cathar immediately. So we definitely have our outs, even if they take the Town Raiser Tyrant. They level up. They're going to continue to be the aggressor. No blocks here at all. Absolutely not risking the Tyrant. No blocks. Take three. Down to 16. No problem. That's it. Wow. I guess we play out both of uh, these guys. What a great draw with that mountain there. Whew, that changed the game so much. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This is a crap ton of damage coming through. A lot of it really hard to block. Definitely going to be some chumps this turn. Could have Snakes and Veil. They might pick off one of these, but no problem. So if they have a Snakes and Veil, probably try to kick out the Gatekeeper, maybe. Yep, kill the Gatekeeper. And then do they chump one of the Bloodthirsties or not? It's 11 damage. Brings it out to 5. Maybe 2 more if they don't do the land. Brings it out to 3. So they need Brutal Cathar right now. And they don't have it last turn. So they have to top deck Brutal Cathar right now or they lose. If they have Blood Rage Alpha, they could also attack with the wolf, get a token, play Blood Rage, have Blood Rage fight the thing. They have Captain. All right, they're looking for... Um, what's their face? Brutal Cathar. Is it Brutal Cathar? Nope, it's not. That's game. Nice. Woo! That red land on time. Little sap vitality action. Feels good. If you liked that video, click on one of these two next. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time.